Zero Latency is a company where we build free roam virtual reality systems. Customers can go to a venue and go and explore virtual worlds with up to eight people at the same time. The technology is very much a key part of the experience, but what we want is for that technology also to be completely out of the way. I am Scott Van Dockler from Zero Latency. I am the CTO and one of the co-founders. Prior to our current generation of technology, we've had to deal with players putting on headsets, headphones, the backpack, being able to free the customer from that and being able to put them in experience. That experience for the customer has been completely enabled by Wi-Fi 6E and the Cisco Meraki access points. So the players are just wearing the headset, they have a controller in their hands, and that's all they have to worry about and they're just in the VR experience. It's just phenomenal. For a long time now, Zero Latency has focused a lot on simplicity for not only the customers as they come through and play, but also simplicity for everyone else that has to engage with the virtual reality system. You, know, you experience a technical issue, it makes the experience feel a little bit more janky, a little bit less streamlined, and it takes the magic out of it for the customer. And so we've now switched to using remote rendering, which is where the player's VR experience is actually being rendered on a computer in the server room, and that video stream is then sent to the player over 6 gigahertz Wi-Fi 6E. And to do that, it's an enormous amount of data because you want to make sure that what they're seeing as they move around that space just feels really, really natural and comes to the player as fast as possible. So in order to meet those extremely low latency requirements, there was no other hardware equipment which was capable of doing that as effective as the Meraki wireless access points, which has been absolutely critical. We keep using Cisco Meraki equipment because it has the best performance, it has the most reliability, it's consistent, and the management of the equipment is just substantially easier. Not only has like, getting rid of the backpack and getting rid of the equipment given us the ability to, to really free up the players in the games, and we can finally put it on anyone. All you need to do is be able to put the headset on your head, and that kind of accessibility is something that's been really important to us. One of the, the most powerful things really with this new technology and the ability to to stream those images um, over over wireless instead of uh, instead of through the backpack uh, has been absolutely critical, and we're really really excited about what we're going to be doing next.